hey guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is baki sikhale and i am back with yet another true crime case today's case will be discussing the story of ndogozo kaba however please do kindly note that this has not been tested in the court of law these are still allegations as this is an, an ongoing case sorry now, Ndogozo was born on the 12th of February in the year 2002 to mother Tolagele and father Mduduzikaba in Newcastle, which is in KZN. Now, Ndogozo was described by her friends as someone who was kind, who was loving. She was very, very smart as well as goal oriented She then completed her matric at World School, Newcastle and was also part of the hockey girls first team. Ndogozo then met a young man who goes by the name of Nebo Tusi, who was also from Newcastle. He was however three years older than her and he was a rugby player. The two shortly after started a romantic relationship and this is when Nebo then moved to TUT, which is known as the Tswane University of Technology. Um, he then went on to study a chemical engineering degree as well as continuing with his rugby which later opened doors for him as he played for the blue bulls 2020 Ndogozo then completed her matric she then also enrolled at tut and would be starting in the year 2021 um, towards a diploma in integrated communication now, in the beginning, things were going very, very well for the couple. As you can imagine, they both really now have a full taste of freedom, as Ndogozo is also in university at this point. However, shortly after that, the relationship started to become very hostile. Um, Nebo was apparently very physical as well as very possessive. This, however, went on for a while without Ndogozo speaking to anyone as her family and friends only found out about the abuse that was taking place in the relationship around August 2022, which is almost over a year um, later. And this is when she also disclosed that she wanted to end the relationship. Ndogozo then ended things with Ngebo and the relationship was officially over. And as much as Ndogozo probably thought that, you know, this was the beginning of her freedom, um, that was... The furthest thing from the truth as he would always want to find out who he was with he would show up to the same places that she's at he would also um on multiple occasions go to her residence as well you know to try to speak to her to try to fix things and like potentially get back together now as much as the couple was no longer together oftentimes when Ngebo would show up either to her residence or some of the places that she was at he would still be physical with her and because Ntawazo knew that this would probably not come to an end anytime soon she then decided to go and to open a police case however to date nothing was done or like it's just basically a case that's in the police station and nothing was ever done about it now, as the academic year was coming to a close, Ntogozo then moved back home to Newcastle, where it is that she was obviously surrounded by her family. She didn't really see him at all. You know, she was able to really just come back to herself because um, as much as he also was from Newcastle, but I mean, she was surrounded by her family, so he wouldn't do some of the things that he used to do to her in Joburg now that she's around her family. However, shortly after that, the school holidays had come to an end. And on the 29th of January, 2023, just as the academic year was about to commence, Ndogozo then made her way back to TUT. And this was for her to be able to register um, the modules that she was going to be doing that year. Now, on the 2nd of February 2023, just three days before it is that classes were to commence, um, Tagoza and her friends basically just went out for some lunch just to basically hang out, you know, catch up as to what had happened over the course of the um, school holidays, etc. Shortly after that, Ngebo and his friends then also showed up to the same establishment and basically asked if they could hang out with Tagoza and her friends, of which they basically agreed and said it's okay, they can hang out. Um, the group then all hang out together um but after that Ngabo's friends then left um leaving Ngabo behind the party then moved on to Ndogozo's room and this is when Ndogozo, her friends as well as Ngabo basically hung out into the night um but shortly after that Ngabo had asked to please have a private conversation with Ndogozo however her friends were a little bit skeptical about this because they obviously knew the nature of the relationship 
but Ndogo stated that she would be comfortable and that it was okay for them to give them a private moment. I was basically just, you know, still pleading with her and telling her that, you know, the relationship would be better this time around. Can they please get back together? However, Ndogo will continue to deny any advances that it is that he made. This really enraged him as it is stated that this is the moment where he then grabbed a knife and he continuously stabbed her in the neck and left her on her bed in a pool of blood. The following morning, Neville continued on with his day. He even later went to attend a rugby practice. However, at this point, Ndogozo's friends grew quite worried because they last saw her the night before. They were trying to call her. They were trying to knock on her door. However, all of this was at no avail. However, this is when one of her friends then discovered um, like a blood stain on the door handle. Upon seeing the blood on the door handle, the door was then kicked in and obviously her friends were met with a shock as Ndogoza was laying on the bed covered in a pool of blood. The paramedics were then called, however, she was pronounced dead at the scene. Her friends then gave a statement to the police about who it is that she was last seen with as well as the nature of the couple's um, relationship and this is when an official investigation was then opened. A night vigil was also held in honor of Ndogozo and she was laid to rest on the 18th of February in the year 2023, literally just six days before her 21st birthday. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. public outrage Nabotusi was then arrested he has abandoned his bail twice and he is currently awaiting trial when the justice system what Ronald Lamula they are playing what Zondo they are playing now you have touched you have touched a wrong country the republic we shall show them flames let them release him we are going to prison we are, we are going to kill him she will fall after us And that is the story of Ndogozo Kaba. As it continues to go on, if there's any updates, I will definitely have a part two on this. Please let me know what other cases you would like for me to cover, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.